the real causes of leg cramps and how to stop them permanently. Leg cramps are where you get a strong, sudden pain or tightness in your muscle, such as your calf, your thigh or your foot. Cramps happen when your muscle forcibly contracts and shortens, usually because of a miscommunication between your nerves and your muscles. Leg cramps are not considered dangerous and they usually go away after a few minutes, but they can be very painful and sometimes they may wake you up during the night. You may also feel a hard lump of muscle beneath your skin when you have a cramp. In this video, I'll be explaining what the real problems are that are causing your leg cramps and also how to stop them from happening using some very simple remedies, stretches and lifestyle changes. This video is for educational purposes only, so do speak with your doctor if leg cramps are a consistent problem. 1. Water Deficiency Dehydration is the number one most common cause of muscle cramps. If you've been exercising, sweating heavily or you're not drinking enough water, you're much more likely to have leg cramps, particularly at night time. You see, 78% of your muscle is actually made of water and this stores and carries important electrolytes that control how your muscles relax and contract. If you're dehydrated, however, you will lose these minerals and this will disrupt the nerve signals and cause the muscles to cramp. To stay hydrated, aim to drink at least 2 litres of water per day. If you've been sweating heavily, I also recommend adding 1 quarter of a teaspoon of Celtic sea salt to 12 ounces of water and drink this through the day. The sodium from the salt helps the water to enter your muscle cells more efficiently. Cause number two is low magnesium or potassium. Your muscles need certain minerals such as magnesium and potassium to relax properly. You can get these from unprocessed foods like leafy greens, vegetables, fruits and fish. You may become deficient in these minerals because you consume too much caffeine, alcohol or sugar which depletes them. Over-exercising, sweating a lot and not getting enough rest can also deplete them. A magnesium deficiency is the most common cause of leg cramps, particularly if they happen at night, whereas a potassium deficiency is more likely to cause a leg cramp when you're active during the day. Taking magnesium glycinate, which contains 200 to 400 milligrams of elemental magnesium per day, is one of the absolute best remedies for leg cramps available. You can also boost your potassium and magnesium levels by using a good quality electrolyte powder in your drinks. And now we move on to number three, which is often the missing link that people aren't aware of, two alkaline blood. Your muscles may also tighten, spasm and contract into a cramp when your blood is too alkaline. You see, your blood is supposed to be between 7.35 to 7.45 on the pH scale, but if it goes a little higher, that means that it's become more alkaline. In an alkaline environment, calcium ions in your blood bind more tightly to proteins, which reduces the amount of free calcium available in your muscles. Unfortunately, this lack of available calcium causes your muscles to tighten up and cramp. Restoring your blood pH to its normal range usually helps to stop the cramps as it restores the proper calcium function. You can do this very easily by drinking a little pickle juice to quickly clear up your cramps. Or you may use one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar mixed in a glass of water to bring your blood pH back to normal which moves me on to the fourth main cause of leg cramps, muscle fatigue. If you overwork your muscles when you're exercising, they become temporarily damaged. This is very good because it's how you grow larger and stronger muscles, but it also causes waste products to build up inside, such as lactic acid. This acid makes it harder for your muscle to get the oxygen that it needs, making it more likely to cramp. Overtraining and exercising too much also depletes the ATP energy that's used to relax and contract your muscles, again making it more likely to cramp. 
You can reduce this risk by stretching properly before you exercise or do a long walk. You can take creatine monohydrate before an intense workout with lots of water and allowing lots of time for recovery after workouts can also help. Cause number five is muscle loss. Leg cramps are also more common in aging adults as they tend to lose more muscle over time. So the remaining muscle overstretches more easily and this causes them to spasm and cramp. After the age of 30, our muscles begin to break down at a rate of 3-8% to every 10 years. You can prevent this muscle loss by doing resistance training and taking vitamin D3. And to learn more about this, watch my video 8 Ways to Preserve Muscle as You Age. 6. Poor Blood Flow To keep your muscles functioning properly, you also need good blood flow to carry oxygen and nutrients to them. If you have poor circulation because you sit or stand too often, are pregnant, have plaque inside your arteries, or you have a blood clot in your leg, any of these conditions can reduce blood flow to the leg muscles, triggering a cramp. Regular exercise, intermittent fasting and natural blood thinners like natokinase can all help to improve blood flow. And number 7 is medications. Certain medications can also lead to muscle cramps as a side effect. For example, diuretics deplete electrolytes like potassium and magnesium, triggering a cramp. Statins that are used to lower cholesterol can also cause muscle cramping in some people, along with antipsychotics, steroids and calcium supplements. The best thing to do is speak with your doctor if you suspect your medication is causing your cramps and they may be able to make some changes to your dosages. How to stop muscle cramps Now that you've learned all about the main triggers and causes, let's bring everything together with a simple strategy to stop cramps completely. Firstly, take 400 mg of elemental magnesium from a magnesium glycinate supplement every single day. Magnesium and glycine help to relax your muscles to prevent involuntary contractions that cause cramps. Hydration. Make sure that you're drinking at least 2 litres of water per day to fully hydrate the muscle and improve nerve communication. Apple cider vinegar. Adding 1-2 to two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar to your water helps to activate calcium and magnesium in your body to prevent spasms. Adding a quarter of a teaspoon of sea salt to your water periodically through the day also provides sodium which helps the water to enter your muscles. Limit caffeine and alcohol. Alcohol and caffeine from things like coffee and tea dehydrate the muscle and deplete B vitamins and minerals, causing nerves to misfire and cramps to happen. Limit yourself to 1-2 to two cups of coffee only per day and avoid alcohol as much as possible. You'd also want to limit soda drinks such as cola as they contain phosphoric acid which affects the nerves and can make muscle cramps happen more often. Electrical foods. Eat foods that are rich in electrically charged minerals to help your nervous system relax and contract your muscles properly. Leafy greens, broccoli, brussels sprouts, berries, citrus fruits and cruciferous vegetables are your best options. Creatine monohydrate. If you work out and train your muscles often, consider taking 5 grams of creatine monohydrate per day. This helps your muscle cells to make ATP energy and it hydrates the muscle to lower the risk of cramps. Massage Improve blood flow and reduce muscle tension by massaging your leg muscles and fascia using deep tissue massage. I personally recommend using a massage gun with a ball attachment, but if you can't afford one of these, you can use the handle of a metal spoon with gentle strokes to stimulate blood flow to the muscle. Heat therapy. Regular bathing with some Epsom salts also helps to alleviate muscle tension and cramps, or you can use a heat pad on the affected area. Daily stretches to stop leg cramps. If your leg cramps are becoming a consistent problem, one of the fastest things that you can do to stop them, especially at night, is leg stretches. 
Use the following three stretches in the morning when you get up and again before you go to bed at night. 1. The Calf Step Stretch Firstly, position the balls of your feet on the edge of a step or a stair with your heels hanging off. Carefully, slowly dip your heels downward below the level of the step and this will stretch your calves. Hold the position for 20 to 30 seconds and repeat three times. This is my personal favourite stretch to stop cramping in the calf muscles which used to be quite a big problem for me. 2. Standing Hamstring Stretch Standing up straight, place one of your legs on a low step or a bench. Straighten out both of the legs but do not lock your knees. Slowly bend forward at the hips, reaching towards your toes. Hold this for 20 to 30 seconds and repeat three times per leg. This helps to prevent hamstring and thigh cramps. And finally, the toe stretch. Sit on a chair or on the floor, reach out and grab your toes. Gently pull them back towards the top of your foot. Hold this for 15 to 20 seconds and repeat three times with both feet. This one's very good to prevent foot cramps which tend to happen more during the night when you're asleep. I recommend doing each of these stretches first thing in the morning and last thing at night before you sleep. This will help to promote blood flow to the muscle to prevent active cramps during the day and nocturnal cramps at night. Finally, if you find that your leg cramps often happen in the day more so than at night, I recommend focusing on boosting your potassium levels. Taking 1000 mg of potassium citrate from a good quality electrolyte powder can make a huge difference. Summary Sudden over-contracted muscles in your legs which are painful and tight are called leg cramps. These usually happen because your muscles are dehydrated and do not have enough moisture inside them. Or perhaps the signalling isn't working properly because you don't have enough magnesium or potassium. If your blood pH is a little too alkaline, this can make minerals like calcium unavailable to relax your muscles. Overtraining your muscles without enough recovery reduces oxygen levels and can trigger a cramp or sarcopenia with age makes the muscles more likely to overstretch and cramp, and poor blood circulation to the muscle or taking medications can affect the normal relaxation and contraction. You can stop muscle cramps by improving blood flow and nerve communication within the muscle using stretches, mineral supplements, water, and avoiding mineral depleters like alcohol. Growing your muscles larger and stronger can also help to prevent cramps from happening in the future by making them more resilient. And you can learn how to do this by watching the video that I've put on your screen now. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry I have a bit of a cold today so my voice is a little groggy, but thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.